Now we have all kinds of guests in South Africa, international guests, and here on Expresso as well. But it's not often that we can say that they have South African roots and that they also enjoy a good braai at times. Mike, it's good to have you here. Mike from Mike and the Mechanics is joining us on Expresso. Good to see you. Good morning. The nice South African here. roots, it's definitely from your grandmother, right? Yeah. Okay. She was she she brought up in a place called the Alphen Hotel, which is now a hotel, a world hotel. That was a family house. Tell me about the middle name. So it is is it Kluter? I've got a truly Christian name, yeah. How do you say what? it? Kluter. I, I go Kluti. It's not quite <laughs> the same as you. That still is good enough. Listen, we've seen you now in South Africa. You've played Gauteng. What are some of the highlights when you come to South Africa, whether you're here living, whether you're here making music? Um, well, I came in 93 on a mechanics tour and bought some land and built a house. Um, it's a holiday vacation for me. I love the cycling, I love the safaris, the travelling. And the vibe in Cape Town is always very buzzy. It's, it's, it's got sort of chill but alive, you know. Talking about the cycle tour, last year you did one of our biggest cycle tours ever. How did that go down for you? Well, my legs are okay, but after the race, I couldn't, I couldn't play guitar or lift a cup for about two weeks. I had no power in my hand, I had just all the pressure on the thing, but um, I got around it. It was a nice day, it wasn't too, it wasn't too windy, thank God. Um, yep, between four or five hours, what I'm gonna say. I'll say uh, which. <laughs> you did still, that's a good time, that's a really good time. How did you prepare for the race? Not enough. Occasionally, by cycling in England, okay, in sort of February, you know, with a ski hat on and, and gloves, it didn't, it's <laughs> not the right vibe. Highlights about you touring South Africa, is there anything that stands out for you? Well, we haven't done very much of it. I mean, you know, the mechanics never, never did very much touring, actually. So we've done two shows, Sun City and Joburg. Um, great. I mean, it's just nice to be here, in fact. And I've always thought, I haven't played Cape Town before. So I can finally say, good evening, Cape Town, at last. And we can't wait for you to say that tonight when you say hello, Cape Town, when you play it for the first time. I mean, would you, would you ever stay in Cape Town and make longer trips and maybe write from here ever? Yeah, I'd love to. I mean, because, you know, in a sense, our winter is your summer, so it's a natural sort of fit in a way. I've yeah. done a bit of writing uh, here before, but um, I'd like to come for longer periods. I could happily do it. I just work a bit less, that's all. I want to talk about Genesis and the fact that I remember Genesis being on a highlight when Mike and the Mechanics started as a side project. Why did you start it? Unlike most bands, I mean, Genesis were having a good time, but mm. we sort of, you feel, you know, if you play with one drummer and one singer for, for like 50 years, 40 years, that's all you do, it sort of seems wrong. So we started doing projects separately to have a bit of variety, not through dissatisfaction, purely to have a diff different people to play with. And unlike most bands, we kind of ran Genesis and the solo stuff side by side for like 20 years, and it kind of worked. Did you ever think that Mike and the Mechanics would become a bigger outfit than Genesis? No, they never did, but I never thought it actually would do that well. I mean, I thought you had Genesis, Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins. Mm. You know, the odds of one more doing well was pretty slim, but um, so I was happily surprised. Do you still see Phil Collins? Yeah, if I had dinner with him last Tuesday and Tony Banks. What did he in eat? In London. What did you have for dinner? Indian. <laughs> we like Indian food. <laughs> Take me through it. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at your career and I'm looking at Mac and the Mechanics. The, the two new members, um, why those two? Because we've always had two lead singers um, and the story is that uh, one of the two, Paul Young, died early 2000. And we kind of came to the end of a certain era. Um, but we have always had an R&B voice, which is now Andrew Roachford, and a rock voice, which is Tim Hauer. Um, and they're a great fit. And, and also it's quite unusual to have two lead singers in a band. Mm -hmm. But it gives the band a great energy on stage, mm -hmm. as hopefully you'll see, whoever comes to see it will see. The energy and, and like you mentioned, the, the, the reason why you put them together, we can't wait to see it uh, live tonight in Cape Town for the first time. Why did you not play Cape Town the last time? I'm just curious. Because I found out today, I remember today, it was 95, yeah. Rugby World Cup. We couldn't find a venue in Cape Town free. Wow. That was why. And that was the only That's reason That's my why? excuse. <laughs> but it, it, kind of, it was true, it was, it was that, yeah. I have to ask this, you know, people hear the songs and they recognize it and they go, ah, oh, that's Mike, or oh, that's Mike and the Mechanics. How does a guitarist who also writes songs become the main attraction to a band if you're not a lead singer? Good question, uh, because I got there first, really. <laughs> that was sort of my idea and my project in a sense. You know, I'm a songwriter, mm -hmm. so you can write the songs, but I have, my voice has never been good enough to be the lead singer. Um, and that's not my sort of nature, really. Um, so I managed to uh, pull it off. What else are you going to still pull off in South Africa and in Cape Town? What are you looking forward to? Uh, well, the show, obviously the show tonight, um, and um, then a week off. 
down here, which is nice. Okay. The band will go back after the ships is too soon, but uh, I'm staying for a while. Well, we can have you forever, and you can stay for as long as you want, Mark. Don't say that. You, <laughs> might, you might regret it. Mark from Mark and the Mechanics in studio with us at Expresso. Well, you can watch them live tonight at the Grand Arena Grand West, or you can stay forever like we've just suggested. We will be back after the break.